here is the anti-plastic lady telling you that the plastic packaging your food is coming in is not your biggest source of microplastics. There is one study that perfectly shows this. So this happened last year. They got a group of people and they were literally trying to measure how much plastic food packaging and plastic food storage, how much that influenced the amount of microplastics that people consumed day in, day out. They took this group of people and they eliminated everything plastic like from their kitchens, um, plastic cutting boards and plastic food storage, and they measured the microplastics in their stool. They compared the microplastics in their stool from before this plastic intervention, right, plastic-free diet, and after. The researchers were really shocked because they didn't find that much of a difference. However, they noticed there were some people that had super low amounts of microplastics in their body both times, regardless as to whether or not they were using plastic cutting boards and plastic food storage, okay? So what was it that made these particular people have very low amounts of microplastics in their body? Do you guys wanna guess? It was the amount of fresh and unprocessed foods that they ate. So the people that ate lots of fresh, unprocessed foods, regardless of whether or not it was packaged in plastic, they had the least amount of microplastics in their body. So when you're going to the store, yes, look at what it's packaged in, but remember, the best option is probably something that doesn't come with packaging at all. What's worse than that plastic packaging is what's inside of that plastic packaging.